Hey guys, this is Ayad from S-Frame Software, and today we're going to be talking about the isolated footing tool in S-Foundation. So an isolated footing, also known as a pad or a spread footing, is a footing that consists of one pad and one pedestal. And we're seeing on the screen here a few examples of what isolated footings you can model in S-Foundation. Now let's get started and let's try modeling some of these in S-Foundation. So to model an isolated footing, I can use the isolated footing tool, which is right here on the toolbar. And when I click that, the information for the tool appears in the tool window. So for the isolated footing, I have a couple different options. First of all, obviously, I can choose the size of my pad. So the size of my pad is right here under the pad section. So if I expand that, I can see I can either choose to use an existing pad, and it shows me a list here of the pads I've already created. And I can select any one of those and it'll change it and I can see that in the visual editor window here. Let me just move over to make it a bit easier to see. And of course if I wanted to make a new pad, I can also have that as an option. So if I click the new option, I can then go ahead and start changing some of my properties. So we have some options such as shape type and this is where I can choose to either make a rectangular or a circle pad. And we have the option to set an offset up for our pedestal. So as you can see, we have an offset currently for our pedestal. But if I change this, let's make it center. And then we'll say that it is zero millimeters from in each direction from the center. You can see that I went ahead and centered that pedestal on the pad. Of course, you can edit your pedestal and your base plate the exact same way that we just showed with the pad using those respective sections in the tool window. The other thing you can specify about your isolated footing here in the tool window is what soil profile is assigned to it. So that has its own section right here. And if we ever want to look at the list of any of these components here, such as soil profiles or pads or pedestals, we can just click the respective ellipsis there. So if I click the ellipsis beside the soil profile, it opens up the defined soil profile dialog. And the one last thing to keep in mind in the tool window is you can specify a rotation for your isolated footing. So again, that's done in the tool window. We can see here, if we switch to the plan view, just to make it a bit easier to see, our pedestal, or our isolated footing rather, lines up right now with the global X and Y coordinates. We can apply rotation there, so let's say we want to rotate it 45 degrees. And again, that's reflected there in the preview that we see in the visual editor window. So if, once we're happy with our isolated footing and we've modified all the parameters that we want, we can go ahead and left click with our mouse on any point that shows this blue circle. And that inserts the footing into the model. And of course I can insert multiple footings at a time. I can also insert footings from this view as well. The one thing that I always find helpful is to keep an eye down here in the bottom right at my coordinates. And that can help me place my footings in the right location. Isolated footings are also compatible with piles, so we can make pile caps and model those. And that option is just here in the tool window as well. The pile foundation option, we can check that off. We won't go over that in this video, but do keep in mind that that's an option, and we'll have another video talking more in depth about that. And that's it for modeling our isolated footings. From here, we can go ahead and load them, and then analyze and code check them. And all of that will be talked about in some of the other videos on our channel.